In this video, we'll discuss how to create tooltips in Tkinter. A tooltip is a small piece of informational text that pops up whenever you hover over a specific GUI element. For example, I'm using VS Code right now, so let's just take a look at some tooltips that are here. I'm going to hover over this, uh, my active window, and you can see it gives me the file path of this, of this file, where this file is located. If I hover over this play button over here, you can see it says run code. And if I hover over anything here, really, everything shows a tool tip. These small icons here, they might not make sense to somebody just by looking at them. So the tool tip basically tells you what that icon is. So tool tips, as we can see, are tools to improve user experience and make GUIs more user friendly. So how do we create these in Takinter? Well, unfortunately, Takinter does not have a standard built-in tooltip. Now, we could just create our own, and that is totally possible. But this video is going to feature a library called TK Tooltip, and this is very really interesting. I looked at the library, and it had a bunch of cool features, so I decided that instead of making our own, why not just use this one? And I'll show you these cool features, because we could implement them ourselves, but it would be kind of a pain, honestly. So yeah, all right, so let's begin. This is gonna be really simple. If I just run this code here, we see we have a basic window with a button and a label. Okay, cool. Now let's create a tooltip. Now, as you can see, I have this import here and you guys will need to install it using pip install take hinter tooltip. I think this is the one, right? Yeah, but I already have it. Okay, so I don't need to. Now, I'm going to do tooltip over here. And over here, we pass in the widget on which we want this tooltip to trigger. We could even, you know, pass in root over here. And then the tooltip would trigger whenever we hover over the window. But we don't really do that. That's kind of weird. So let's just stick to doing it on a widget. Okay, but you may want to you, you may want to do that later on a frame or something. Okay, now over here. We're going to pass in the text message is equal to uh, this button does and obviously this button has no purpose in this code, but so I'll just leave this as like something default. Okay, and let's make another one for our label widget and this label means dot dot dot. Okay, now if I run this code here. Okay, and uh, if I hover over here, we can see the tooltip pop up. Okay, and over here as well. All right. Okay, now that that's some weird bug that's been happening on my uh, thing on my PC. For some reason, I need to do this to actually fix that, because it appears um, the window appears to be non-focused when it appears, and the tooltip widget I think kind of conflicts with that or something, so it makes it disappear. If you do that, it's gonna show up focused. And you can tell whether it's focused or not by looking at this over here. Okay, uh, this is all black. And if I remove this and then I run our code, you'll see that it's gray. Okay, it's gray right now until I click on the window and now it's fine. Okay, so if anyone faces that issue, just use this command. All right, now back to where I was. So here we have our tooltip, it's pretty nice. As you notice, it follows our mouse around by default, which is pretty great. So wherever, wherever we move on the button, the label, uh, the tooltip follows our mouse cursor. You can also disable that behavior if you want to by passing follow is equal to false. And it's not going to follow it anymore. Okay. So it kind of like does this weird uh, in out thing. Okay. Uh, I think follow is equal to true is the best option. And that's the default option. So we don't need to specify that. Another cool thing that we can do is delay. Delay basically adds a small delay. Like you you might not want the tooltip to show up immediately. So you can just show a delay. Okay. And if I come here and hold the over. Okay. It takes a second as you can see. See. And you can increase the delay as much as you want to like two seconds. So it takes longer. Okay. Now one more thing that we can do is customize it. So BG is equal to, let's go with black. Okay, and FG, which is foreground, 
is uh, 1, C, 1, C, 1, C. Okay, now here we go. Wait, hmm? Okay, that's kind of weird. I tried this out like five minutes ago. Hold on, let's do that again. Huh. Oh, wait, hold on. I swapped these around. Okay, that was kind of dumb. Wait, what am I doing? Take this and put that over there. And this comes over here. Okay, now let's do that again. All right, there we go. So this is like uh, we inverted the colors. So the background is black and the foreground is white. So you can also customize the color like this. You can even add in some padding over here. Okay, pad X is equal to uh, three. Pad Y is equal to three. Don't do too much, it'll look weird otherwise. Okay, as you can see, it's a bit bigger now. So these are the cool things that we can do with this. If you guys want to see a custom implementation of a tooltip in Takinter without any third-party libraries, then I'll leave a link down to it in my description, okay? And it'll take you to my website where we have the code for that kind of thing, okay? So yeah, see you guys in the next video.